This year, we anticipate to see more CGMs work with more pumps and new CGMs to come out. And I'm gonna be telling you about all of these today. CGMs are devices that you put on your skin or sometimes implantable that measure blood sugar levels. Some measure them at five minutes, some at one minute, and they send this information to a smartphone app or even insulin pumps, which allows for automated insulin delivery. A lot of insulin pumps out there talk to CGMs and then they give you insulin based off of the needs of your sugar levels. Now, there are so many innovations this year, or at least anticipated to, and we're gonna get into those today. First of all, I'm Justin, welcome to Diabet Tech. On here I talk all things diabetes tech news and management. I've got videos coming out all the time on here and on social media, and I've got a podcast on all podcast platforms as well as here on YouTube that comes out every Monday. So be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoy it. For even more content, you can support my channel and see all that exclusive interview and content on my Patreon. There's a link to that in the show notes. All right, let's get into it. First, let's start with Medtronic's new CGM, the Simplera. Simplera is Medtronic's first disposable CGM much less of a burden than their Guardian system because it's just like other systems where you use an applicator, put it on, and there you go. And then when you're done with it, you just throw it out. A little bit wasteful, but it is a much more sleek device and easier to use. The Simplera is 50% smaller than the Guardian 4. It is much sleeker. When you look at it side by side with other CGMs, thank you, Tom, for this footage, you can see that it is pretty comparable to other CGMs probably about the size of the Freestyle Libre 2, and it's a lot slimmer than its predecessor and just overall a prettier looking device. Simplera has a two hour warm up, which is a bit unfortunate, especially compared to the competition out there with Dexcom G7's 30 minute warm up and the Freestyle Libre 2 and 3's 60 minute warm up, but you can overlay sensors and go no time between sensors. Now, this isn't something Medtronic says that you should do, it's off label, but Tom from Type 1 Talks, he tested it out recently and it works. So essentially you can go no time, essentially have a zero warm up time with these sensors, which is great. Simplera only has a seven day wear time, which is not very long, especially compared to the CGMs we're seeing that are now like up to 15 days. But if you're someone who has health insurance and that's how you're receiving these, then you don't have anything to worry about when it comes to these falling off. You'll, you'll get one every seven days, you'll put a new one on, and especially since there's no warm up time if you overlap them, then you're really set. Of course, there is that burden of needing to think ahead and, and every seven days be like, okay, I need to be of readily available to put one on, but especially because you can overlap sensors, I guess that will be a little bit easier. Simplera received clearance with the CE mark in Europe in September, 2023. It is allowed to be used in Europe, not yet in the US, but it is with the FDA, I believe, and it should be coming soon. Now this CGM is not meant for insulin pumps yet. They do have one plan for that, and I will get into that in just a second. This CGM is standalone. It can be used just to monitor blood glucose levels and use that with your treatment, or what it's being marketed as with Medtronic is to be used with their InPen. InPen is a smart insulin pen. I've used it myself, and I really enjoyed the experience. What it does is, it, the InPen, Smart Insulin Pen, connects to an app on your phone, and so does Simplera CGM readings. Together, this app will tell you based on how many carbs you wanna eat, and based on blood glucose levels and insulin on board, how much insulin you should dose yourself for food and corrections. This app will have all that information for you, the two devices will seamlessly connect, and you can use a Smart Pen if you want to alongside this device. Personally, if I wanted to go back to MDI, multiple daily injections, I would choose the InPen because I love that it has like the smarts of an insulin pump on the pen and with the smartphone app. And then I would use the Simplera CGM. And, and this is something I'd really like to try. So Medtronic, if you're listening, maybe we can, we can get on that. There is also a Simplera CGM meant for Medtronic's 780G system. Uh, that is a, an insulin pump. And that is with Simplera Sync. This CGM, it's the same exact form factor, same stats as Simplera, and it has already received CE mark in Europe earlier this year. It is no secret that Medtronic has fallen behind some of the other companies, especially when it comes to CGM technology. And this has caused a lot of people to leave Medtronic. 
But with Simplera Sync, I think that that's gonna change a lot for people because I hear that the algorithm for Medtronic's 780G is very powerful, and with an all new CGM with better features and looking much sleeker, I think it will bring people back or keep people there with Medtronic. What are your thoughts on the Simplera? Would that make you switch to Medtronic's algorithm? Let me know in the comments. Now let's talk Dexcom CGMs. First, let's start with the Dexcom G6. We are anticipating this sensor working with Omnipod 5's iPhone app that is expected to come this year. Here's hoping. With the Dexcom G7, we've already seen support come to the Eyelet Beta Bionics Pump and Tandem's T-Slim X2. Now we can also expect to see the G7 work with Omnipod 5, hopefully sometime this year, they have been working on it, but we can also expect the G7 to work with Tandem's brand new pump, the Moby, which is the smallest hybrid closed loop tubed pump available. It just launched. I spoke with Tandem a few weeks ago on the podcast. You should check out that video. And I asked about if the G7 support will come to Moby. I was told that they are working with a small group of users early this year and that they expect to bring G7 support at the end of the first quarter, or but definitely in the first half of the year. Hope that they're still on target for that. And now let's get into Dexcom Stello. This is a brand new CGM that was just announced in January by Dexcom that is meant for people with type two diabetes who are not using insulin. This device, what makes it a little more interesting is that it has a 15 day wear. It is not meant for people with type one. This device and its software will not provide the alerts that you get on the G7 or G6 because that's not what it's meant for. It's meant for people with type two that can look at this information and understand how food is affecting them. My own personal thoughts are that Dexcom ultimately wants this device to be for people without diabetes, but currently in the US, the FDA has designated CGMs as a prescription device. So these can only be declared for people who have diabetes. Dexcom is most likely trying to combat Abbott's Lingo CGM that's being used in the UK right now that is measuring blood glucose for people without diabetes. Apparently Abbott was looking to get that here in the US as well in 2023. I don't know, it's unclear where they are with that because like I said, the FDA says that CGMs are a prescription device in the US. Dexcom has sent the Stello CGM in with the FDA and they are anticipating a release this summer. What do you think of Dexcom Stello? Do you think that this is really just for people with type two diabetes or is Dexcom you know, kind of thinking, well, we wanna get people who don't have diabetes on this thing too. Let me know in the comments. Next, we've got the Freestyle Libre 2 Plus from Abbott. There's a lot going on with this brand new CGM. Now, this is a redesign of the Freestyle Libre 2. It no longer requires you to tap your phone on it to get readings. It will automatically send glucose readings to a phone or a pump every minute. Now, last month, it was the FDA cleared use for the Freestyle Libre 2 Plus with Tandem's T-Slim X2 pump. That is happening. I interviewed Abbott about that. I'll throw that link in the description. I also talked to Tandem about it. That video is on my Patreon if you wanna check that out. The Patreon link's also in the description. Now, this device has a lot of updates. For, it's for people who are ages two and up. It is a 15 day wear CGM. I think the biggest upgrade with the Libre 2 Plus is its accuracy. There is increased accuracy when it comes to low glucose levels and an upgraded MARD, which is the accuracy measurement for CGMs, it has a MARD of 8.2%. Compare this to the Dexcom G7's 8.1% and the Freestyle Libre 3's 7.8%, it's pretty good. Now that kind of, you must be asking yourself, well, why didn't they go with the Freestyle Libre 3? Why didn't they make a three plus? It's a better CGM, it's smaller. That's because the Freestyle Libre 2 has been around longer. There is so much time and testing and FDA clearances that need to happen. And the Freestyle Libre 2 is already going through that process. 
We can expect to see that with the Freestyle Libre 3. That is what Abbott told me in my interview. You can watch that again in the description. I have a link. I think the biggest downside with the Freestyle Libre 2 is that it won't have the ability for people to follow glucose levels on launch. And by the way, this is launched already. That is a big disappointment because parents want to be able to watch their kids' glucose levels from afar, and that's just not a thing. There's the Libre Link Up app, which the Libre 2 and the Libre 3 work with, and we can assume that this is coming to the Libre 2 Plus soon, but it, it's just not there. Readings will go directly to the pumps. Uh, like I said, Tandem it works with in the US, and it also just received clearance for Omnipod 5 in Europe. And we can expect to see clearance in the US coming soon for Omnipod 5 as well. This leads me to the Freestyle Libre 4. Now, currently there's no word on this device actually existing, but Abbott has already announced back in 2022 that they are working on the next CGM. And this is their development of a novel continuous glucose ketone monitoring system. So this device would monitor both ketones and glucose levels. I reported on this while at CNET back in 2022, and they were working on biowearables that can measure a few different things. But Abbott believes that the next step in monitoring for people with diabetes includes ketones. Ketones are important to measure because of the fear or possibility of DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis. This is when there's a buildup of ketones in the bloodstream, which can be very dangerous. And it's often how people find out they have type one diabetes uh, because there's such a buildup that they have a health issue and it takes them to the hospital. I'm excited to see the future of this device and hopefully this is the Libre 4 and hopefully we hear about it this year. And the last CGM I wanna talk about is the Eversense implantable CGM. Now this device gets implanted in your arm through a procedure and lasts for up to six months. Currently, this CGM doesn't connect with any pumps. And you know, that's part of the reason why a lot of people wear CGMs is so that it can connect to their pump and give them a closed loop automated insulin delivery. Sensionics is seeking ICGM designation. This would mean that their sensor would be able to connect with pumps. They sent that in to the FDA in August, 2023, and they are expecting to get approval in early 2024. So we could see ICGM come to the Eversense CGM and connect to pumps. I'm very excited to see where that goes. Currently, this implantable pump still needs an external device. It's pretty cool. It can be taken off and put back on and it vibrates. It's a much different attack of getting CGM readings than other devices. And I'm really hoping to see this ICGM designation come to the device. I'm very excited to see what the future of the Eversense CGM looks like. I did speak with them at ADA. I have a YouTube video on that. I'll put a link to that in the description. You should check that out. I am so excited about the future of CGMs. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I wanna hear what you're most excited about and be sure to subscribe to this channel and click that bell for alerts so you know when my videos drop as soon as it happens and give this video a like if you enjoy it. If you want more content and you wanna support the channel, you should check out my Patreon. There's a link to that in today's show notes. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.